So it would appear Kenna and I are, are famous. What's up, beautiful people? How are you doing? It's your boy, Jagger. I'm very, very sleepy. Last night, we were working on one of Eva's projects. I think I slept at 2.30, maybe 3. Maybe even 3, I'm not sure. Uh, extremely sleepy, but extremely excited. Another vlog, I hope you're doing fantastic. On my way to a meeting, a new, uh, you know, a potential client meeting, I love those. About five years ago, when I first got clean, there are certain things I hoped I would have a chance to do. One of which um, was uh, build a platform that made it possible for other individuals who are looking to get clean, who are looking for sobriety. Um, and made it, I was originally looking to register a foundation. Um, it was going to be called True North Foundation. And the idea was to have this foundation that makes it possible for people to go to rehab who would not otherwise afford it. Because rehab is extremely expensive. Not-for-profit organizations are extremely difficult to start up because it means that you need donor funding and I was too fresh in um, sobriety to be trusted with money by a foundation. So I kind of had to put those desires in the back burner. About two weeks ago, just stuff started happening. I'm not going to get into the nitty gritty of those details right now because I don't want to spoil the surprise. I want to share this with you sometime next week. But amazing things are happening. Today I'm hanging out with a very fantastic gentleman. His name is Hassan, courtesy of Uber, Hassan. Wasalimu watu wangu. Cheers, man. He's <laughs> a fresh guy. Have you ever met someone who inspired you insanely? I have just come from a meeting that made me think of my hustle in a whole different way. As in, what? <laughs> I have seen the view from the top and I liked it. And I'm not just talking about the top of Delta Town, I'm talking about top of the food chain. I'm, I'm, I'm impressed and seriously inspired all at the same time. It's a beautiful, beautiful day. I hope you are having a fantastic Thursday. Um, yeah, up and about, trying to get things done. I realize I've been talking a lot in transit like this. Um, I apologize because I realize I'm not very directed in terms of thought when I'm out and about. Uh, so I'll actually wind up the vlog back in the house so that I can drive at the point I was trying to make today. But I do hope that you're having a fantastic task. The mind is brilliant. I am grateful, I'm happy, I'm healthy, and that's good enough. And just in case this finds you at a place where you are not feeling extremely excited or energetic or enthused about life, um, trust me, there's something to be grateful for. Uh, do what I do. Spend five minutes, sit down, try and find five things in your life that you are grateful for. And I promise you, if you look hard enough, you will find it. It could be the fact that you're alive. It could be the fact that you're healthy. It could be the fact that you have a roof over your head, or it could be the fact that you have food to eat. And there's always something to be grateful for. It does not matter how bad things seem. There's something to be grateful for.
early in the day I was telling you the way these days just turning out to be fantastic um, and then on my way home I just got home it's now it's going to five that's just before five like a few minutes to five so I just got home uh, but on my way here I someone sent me a link I need to share this with you the uh, digital daily nation they've been doing fatherhood stories and they featured Ken and I up quite quite exciting um, I thought the story was laid out very well and this picture of when Ken was born man um, I'll drop a link in the description please check it out um, the, the thing that I do not want people to forget and it's perhaps why I remain consistent with this vlog I don't want guys to wake up one day and assume that I'm just another guy who is doing okay I never want guys to forget where I'm coming from that's why I keep doing this vlog and that's why I'm always referencing a story from my past life. Um, I do not want guys to forget that it's the same guy that was told you have bipolar disorder and you are an addict and you can't function without <clears throat> all these medications in your life. I'm the same guy, man. My hope is that as I continue to commit myself to doing this vlog over a longer period of time, that there are things that will happen that we begin to prove to you, the beautiful people who take time every week to watch these videos, that how your life unfolds has a lot, if not everything, to do with how, number one, you think about yourself, yeah, your perception of yourself, your perception of what you think is possible, your perception of what you think you can achieve, um, how much you're willing to put into what you want out of life. If someone is going to look at my story and think, man, that guy is so lucky. What you didn't see is the amount of sheer brutal hard work that has gone into me becoming who I am today. Who I am today is not chance. Um, it's a lot of grind. It's a, a lot of deliberate um, intent. And it's a lot of blessing and grace. I always end these videos by saying manifest your best life possible. Most people think that manifestation is this thing that is subject to the world deciding to bring things into your life, either good or bad. But the truth of the matter is you have so much to do with what manifests in your life. It's emotionalized thoughts that become manifestations of the things that we're seeing around here. If you just focus, if you just decide the kind of life you want and focus on it and see it with clarity in your mind every day and you wake up and walk towards that with a lot of intention. I promise you, it might not be tomorrow or the next day, but at one point you're going to wake up and realize you are beginning to achieve your dreams. Of course, we cannot end this episode without the weekly status update. As of today, we have 100, okay, hold on, 144 subscribers. So here's the thing, guys. This article you see over here, it happened because someone saw my content on YouTube and thought, hmm, there might be a story there. And there's some other stuff coming. I keep telling you that I don't get into the details. But over the next one week, I'm going to expose you to some stuff that's been happening behind the scenes. And almost all of it is owing to this YouTube channel and me having the courage to put my story in front of the camera like this. Amazing things are happening. So we might not be the biggest channel, we might not be the fastest growing channel, but we are a pretty impactful channel. And I want to thank you so much for giving me your audience. Thank you for giving me the continued support to continue telling these stories. Have a most amazing Thursday. Manifest your best life possible and be good.